Hey, what is up guys? Aserai here and welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, big, big thanks to Rotobox Philippines for sending me a copy of this particular product that we're gonna be giving a quick impressions review on. So uh, if you guys have seen uh, my post previously on my Facebook page, it is going to be the Pulsar X Lite, which is an incredibly, incredibly light, uh, lightweight gaming mouse that uh, they sent to me for, you know, they said, Asurai, you wanna check this, check this out? Um, I said, yeah, I was pretty excited to actually get my hands on this because this is gonna be my, I, th I guess my second entry into the ultralight mouse space. I have purchased the HK Gaming S uh, HK Gaming Mira S beforehand, but um, this seems to be a more suitable kind of introduction for me for that lighter mice uh, market because it's 50 grams compared to the Mira S, which is 61, 60 grams, I think. It's incredibly light. So wait, hang on. So out of the box, um, it does come with the mouse itself and a little bit of goodies that I think is just really, really nice. You do have yourself here a uh, set of grips that you can add to the mouse if you feel like the mouse isn't grippy enough. And a little bit of uh, extra mice, mouse feet, just so that if you kind of run through the initial ones, you don't have to purchase anything uh, yet in the stores, which is really good, I would say. Like, lots of gaming mice should really give you the option to do stuff like this because I think we just run through our mice feet, especially with those who use the hard pad surfaces for, my, for, my, uh, for mouse pads. It's really, really good. So something else that's kind of, I think, unique to the Pulsar X Lite is that they also include this, um, this kind of like makeshift clip-on mouse bungee that you can that you can like put on your monitor and just write the route the cable there so that it doesn't just like drag on the mouse pad surface that you're playing on which is kind of good it's really ingenious and i would think like not even that expensive to make this you just have a mold and you just put it up there really really good you don't have to buy a mouse bungee i did not use this because i have my own mouse bungee from from the looks of it it looks pretty solid enough i think the only issue with it since it is going to be um using adhesive if by accident you pull on it too hard it might just come off your monitor they do give an extra another uh, extra adhesive here but if you're somebody who flicks hard who pulls hard, uh, it might be an issue because uh, if you don't measure the cable properly, it's gonna be a bad time for that uh, mouse bungee. But still, really good they included that. Anyways, you have seen too much of my face. I know getting a little bit, uh, what's the word here? Um, sick of it, so here we are already. This is the Pulsar X Lite in all of its 50 gram glory, yes. 50 grams for the particular mouse itself. I think maybe 49 below without the cable, but at least with a little bit of cable, it does go around average of 50 grams. The way that they have done this is that they've gone with this kind of like uh, open mouse design that they also shave the underneath, the undercarriage of the mouse. Look at that, the, uh, the bottom portion, whether it should be like a full on plastic here has had a lot of holes on it, but it does not uh, take away from the structure of the mouse itself. I think they did a fantastic job. I don't know if you can see it, but like they did like these frames, the framework of the Pulsar X Lite that does make feel uh, that does make it feel solid. Now, if I try to squeeze the mouse really, really hard, you will be hearing some little bit of creaking. But in act in actual use, it's not really gonna be there because I mean, any mouse that you like, you know, pinch really hard is really gonna creak on it because it's plastic still, right? Anyways, this mouse has been really solid, and if you guys know, if you watch my streams, I flick really, really hard, and sometimes I flick uh, to the left really hard, which, where my keyboard is at, I have slammed the left side of this to my keyboard twice or thrice now within, the, within a week's time, and I have not seen any dents or, like, any damages whatsoever. So it has at least shown that there is some, you know, durability to this particular product. Now, I think the next thing that I'm gonna be talking about with this particular mouse is the shape of it. If you can see, if I'm gonna put it like that, on this is the top view, and if I'm gonna go for the back view, you can see that there is a curve at the back. 
And what this just means is that this mouse is built as a right hand ergonomic uh, shape. So the size of it and the shape of it, I think is good for medium to larger hand sizes. I know that if you're gonna be coming from the West, it, it might be a small mouse, but if you're coming from the East, which is Southeast Asia, Asia in particular, we have those small Asian hands. Um, I think this is good for those medium to large hand sizes because as for me, I really do prefer small to medium symmetrical shapes, but this one at least fares well. The right hand ergonomic shape does allow for a comfortable grip, even though my grip style is something like this, where I do like to, well, what's the term here? Kind of like a hybrid claw palm grip because I do like to put a lot more control in the mouse using my fingertips and then I use the palm as support to be able to move it around the mouse. Now, if you were gonna be using it as a full palm, definitely gonna be super comfortable and really, really easy to use. But anyways, I think with the shape that it has, it can at least accommodate all of those grip, si uh, grip styles, even though there might be some adjustment, which I did have to go uh, through, uh, I still was able to adjust with it. Now, the shape would probably be reminding you of the Zowie EC2B because it's either identical or, sim or very, very similar to that particular shape. They probably took a lot more inspiration from that rather than any other match that we've seen and with good, uh, with good reason. It's a really good shape. It's really, really safe. It's really, really solid and you can play well with it like I've said. Now, I think Getting all of that across, uh, all of that away, the, the things that would be left here is probably going to be the cable. Um, quick thoughts, there's no drag, even if it's not you know, true paracorded or the uh, you know, aftermarket paracorded cables that you can mod onto your mice. Still really, really good, very, very flexible, no resistance, and doesn't really feel like anything when I'm playing with it. So, you know, the clicks on the mouse feel really solid. I can't give you a, I can't really give you a full like, sound test but honestly just take it by my word it sounds really really good um next up is the weight 50 grams is it too much or is it enough for me to still play well with the mouse now here's a little bit of storytelling for you guys had this mouse for about a week plus now and i play at 800 dpi 0.33 in valorant when I had this mouse, I had to lower that to 0.24, basically reducing my, let's say, medium eDPI of, I think, like 270, 280, I can't remember the computation for it, down to like 210 because of how light this mice was at the very start. There, there is an adjustment period to this particular mouse because I came from the Zegan NP01 and the Mira S, which doesn't really feel too far apart with just 10 grams, but 20 grams, because the Zegan NP01 was around 79 grams, and then shaving that to like 50, actually 30 grams of difference of weight, you might think that's like, you can't feel it, but when you're playing, it feels like air. It feels like nothing anymore in the palm of my hand, and because of that, I felt like I had to reduce the the sensitivity of my game just so that I can accommodate the light, the, the weight, the incredibly lightness of the weight of this particular product. Now, the thing about that though is uh, at the end of the day, there is kind of just like that, that feeling where too light will have to force you to adjust once again because I think muscle memory isn't only about the feeling of how you move and how you flick, it's also the weight that comes, a com uh, that comes hand in hand with your particular mouse. Like if you try to flick, let's say by just that meter, right? Or by that, that kind of like motion and distance, and you have a mouse that let's say is 80 grams, it feels right because there's a little bit of heft to it. There's a little bit of weight to it, a resistance that you can actually feel in your hand and it tells your brain, dude, that's enough. That's where you're, the head of your opponent is and you can shoot at there accurately. But when you have something as light as this and you flick towards it, your hand is gonna feel, that's weird. That doesn't, there's no like feedback that's going back to my brain. So I think it's more of like an adjustment period for me. I have gone back to point 33, thankfully, but it's not the most accurate just yet. Anyways, the point that I'm telling here guys, as I'm gonna be just, just putting this back, is that there's really pros and cons to going for an ultralight. So I think 
one of the biggest cons here is that it will definitely mess up your muscle memory if you're not prepared for it. And there's going to be an adjustment period for you. So be adjusted and be prepared for that. For those who are really, really into having everything set, having everything precise in terms of your settings, your setup, your, you know, before you play your games, putting this into the mix will definitely, you know, get you out of sorts. But the big pro to this, the biggest pro that I can see with this one is that the control that you have with the mouse becomes ever so fantastic because of how light it is. I now do not feel too much strain when I try to go for like more aggressive flicks. And that has allowed me to kind of play a little bit more with aggressive type of like movement that I haven't really played with before when I had my Zegan NP01 as well as the Mira uh, S. Now again, that might be just placebo coming in from me, but in terms of my experience, it has been the case with the Pulsar X Lite. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had something uh, that you could take away from this video. And if you have any more uh, questions, please just do drop it in the comment section down below. My name is Asurai and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Ciao and bye. Oh, for anything guys, this is my setup right now. Oh, I'm playing, I was playing Spotify a while ago, but I am uh, studying already for the Valorant Masters that is gonna be happening tomorrow, March 19 onwards up to March 21. So be sure to check that out. And again, that's about it. Ciao and bye.